Hello guys, this is Sujit Kumar, dialysis therapist here in Delhi. In this video, we are going to see how to prime dialyzer. So here is item which is required for dialysis procedure. This is dialyzer. This is AV blood tubing. This is TP transducer protector. Necessary for measuring venous pressure and IV set. 500 normal spline bottom. Or here is surgical gloves. So first we have to wear the surgical gloves. First, we have to take the dialyzer. This dialyzer surface area is 1.3 meter square. This is artery line which have to connect to the blood inlet part of the dialyzer. And this is blood pump segment which have to fix in the blood pump. And this is venous line we have to connect to the outlet of the dialyzer always we try to prime the dialyzer in anti gravity direction so all air bubble removed during the priming and this is IV set we have to connect to the artery line of the AV blood tubing then start priming procedure at 150 speed And now we have to own the blood pump. Always try to prime the dialyzer at 150 ml per minute speed because in this speed no any chance of air bubble arise in the circuit. So first line come from the artery line you can see here and then it come into the arterial chamber. I will show you when it filled. So you can see here this is arterial chamber when arterial chamber is filled we have to place the chamber to their side so you can see here this is arterial chamber side and the right one is venous chamber side and you can see dialyzer is filled with the saline and saline come from the outlet side and now saline come in the venous chamber and now venous chamber is filling you can see here chamber is filled now we have to fix it to their side and both chamber are filled and always remove at least 400 ml saline from the circuit because as you all know these tubing and dialyzers are sterile by ETO which is chemical and that is harmful for patient so always remove at least 400 400 sal saline from the dialyzer and tubing now we can stop the blood pump and connect artery line and venous line together and IV set connect to the IV line this is called IV line and always remove saline from the all lines this is artery chamber line and also we have two lines in the venous chamber remove saline from this also because already told you it's trial by chemical and largest line is vein heparin line you can see this is heparin line now circuit is ready and we have to connect the dialysate to the dialysate so these are two cans one is part a in which have all the electrolytes and another is part B contain sodium bicarbonate so here is two sides dialysate outlet and dialysate inlet 
where the blood come in the dialyzer where we have to fix the outlet of the dialyzer and this is inlet blue is a inlet and red one is a outlet of the dialyzer and last we have to connect venous line in the air detector clamp so this is necessary for the procedure now circuit is ready we can connect patient so in coming video we are going to see how to initiate dialysis and how to terminate dialysis before initiate hemodialysis we have to set the parameter so uf goal is one liter and treatment time is four hours so this is ready for the initiate hemodialysis next video we will see how to initiate dialysis and how to terminate dialysis <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,